Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up everybody? So I'm back right here, just get everything set up. So we just did a live streaming at official channel, create up channel with the that panel pilot one. Right now I'm doing a live stream through the Insta 260 One X. Yes, as you see from this camera, it's the One X with the mobile phone attached. And as you see my subscriber account, I have less than 1,000 subscribers. I only have 36 subscribers on the personal account. But I can do 260 live stream. As you see right now, you see, yeah. I'm doing 260 live stream right now in 4K, 30 frames per second. Live streaming, and again, I uh, want to see the quality between the lab panel and the Insta using One X. Again, uh, there's only two speed on here. One speed is right here. You see the chart? Uh, it's two feet away from the chart, so you will see that right here, and also me right here. Then I will just do a, a stitching test. Really close, really far, two feet away. And also, uh, pay attention to the sharpness of the camera in distance. So that is usually a comparable distance for live streaming for for people like talking in front of the camera, like the fact of running the blackboard and like stuff like this, right? Uh, again, uh, now the audio is go directly from the camera, so let's find out how good the audio. Probably it's not gonna be good as bad as the lab panel, but you know that's the audio. So, uh. How to actually live stream when you have less than 1,000 subscribers with any you see, camera? It's using RTMP. Uh, so what RTMP is? It's basically like uh, what Insta One X does uh, without RTMP is they have an app uh, using a YouTube API to do live streaming. And API have a limitation of subscriber number, but not directly using the YouTube app. Log into your account using a computer. Put the RTMP stream key into your app in your mobile phone right there, and then go straight to the camera, and then you do live stream. I have a full tutorial in 2D gonna be released in the next video to teach you how to do that step by step. So there's no excuse. If you have the One X right now, you can go live right now. But there is a crucial, crucial problem with the One X. The problem is it had to power. There's no way to power the camera, so the camera will die in right now. It's already 30 minutes left for my streaming. And if the camera doesn't die, my phone will die first. So there's no way to charge my phone with a the camera. They have to tether together to do live streaming. But that's one of the biggest advantage. And uh, to me, it's unpractical because any live stream would be more than 45 minutes. Literally, any class in college would be more than 45 minutes. Any concert, any show would be more than an hour. Any session, like psychological session, doctor session, would be more than an hour. So that is more than the camera can handle. So basically, it's, if the camera cannot live stream more than 45 minutes, it's kind of useless. So that's why we examine other solutions like the cool cam AK right here, which is can do uh, without tether the, the camera to the phone, and also this two camera, as you see, live stream there already, uh, will be a more reliable solution. But again, uh, I think One X is the most affordable, and as you see, the quality is not bad. It's 4K. It's, it's 4K. Come on, guys. And you can get this camera right now for very dirt cheap because the One R just released, right? People throwing away their One X, and you can get it like so cheap, and you can get it and all that online on eBay and set it all up, and then you can live stream for maybe thirty minutes per pop, uh, thirty minute per session. And I mean, still, it's a great solution. So um, again, if you want to learn how to do exactly that, go follow up, create up YouTube channel. And again, uh, image quality comparison, I will switch to CoolCam next and you'll see everything together.